Welcome fellow RC Heli enthusiasts this time. This is your host Tom Cogswell from Horizon Hobby and Blade Helis here to give you a tutorial on how to install SAFE and a panic bailout onto the Fusion 360 which I have sitting here on the table. With the advent of our open stock 6250HX flight controller from Spectrum which has a whole suite of SAFE and panic settings for your fly wireless helis we have decided to make an update for the Fusion 360's firmware, allowing you, the user, to put panic and safe onto your Fusion 360. All you really need is a laptop computer, like we have here, as well as the Spectrum programming cable, the one I have in my hand. This is the SPM3065 programming cable. It is quite common amongst other receiver and radio updating uh, video so if you've seen some of those it's essentially the same but i'm going to run you through it real quick and then we'll follow up with how to set up a radio to function the panic feature so follow along we're going to jump down to the bench and get learning all right heli enthusiasts let's get to updating first off you're going to need a windows based computer I've already got Google open, so obviously you'll need to be connected to the internet, and we're going to need to download the Spectrum PC Programmer. The Spectrum PC Programmer is easy to find. All you have to do is search for the USB cable itself. So if we look up SPMA3065, and you just go to one of the top links for it, either Spectrum or Horizon Hobby, you'll see the word PC download right here. We'll go there. And you're gonna want to select the top version. Right now we're at 3.4. You might be higher than that wherever we're at. Let's go ahead and download that. And once you've got it downloaded and installed, you will open up the Spectrum PC Programmer. I'm just gonna go ahead and search for it here on my Windows PC. All right, we're loaded up. And one of the really cool things about the Spectrum PC Programmer is that it will register and update your devices right from your PC. No need to go to any other websites to do so. So from here, we can do everything we need to in the Spectrum Programmer. If you look up here in the top left-hand corner, it says logged in as Tom. Hi, Tom, that's me. We're gonna go ahead and log out just so I can show you guys exactly what you're gonna need to do on the first time. We're gonna click log in and you're gonna put in a username and password. I'm gonna assume that you guys already have a Spectrum RC community account, but if you don't, this is where you can create one. So we'll click on create an account, and you can fill this out. Pretty simple. Once you've filled out this form and hit register, you're gonna get an email to the email that you use on this form. Go ahead and go to that email to validate your account. I've already got an account, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click log in and put in my username and password. Next step is to take our Spectrum programmer cable, like I have here, and plug it into an open USB port on your computer. Once you plug it in, your computer will go doo doo doo. -doo. If this is the first time that you're plugging in, you will get a notification in the bottom right hand corner saying a new device is being installed. Go ahead and wait for that to happen and then continue forth. So we've got our USB plugged in. The next step is to plug in the other end, the servo end, into the flight controller on your Fusion 360. Of course, take the canopy off. And then for safety's sake, I would say go ahead and unplug a couple of the motor wires, just so you don't accidentally hit the throttle and, and hurt yourself. Always safety, kids, safety first. And then with the other end of the cable, we're gonna take the cable that has that is plugged into our receiver uh, unplugged, which is in the bind program port. And then we plug it in to the bind program pro port right there. And then the next step is to plug a battery into our Fusion 360. You could hit power cable in the top right hand corner, but since we've got a bunch of servos plugged in, I just go ahead and plug in a battery. And once you plug in said battery, voila, the computer will see that you have a device plugged in. It'll tell you what the serial number is at the top here, and you can click check for update. 
Uh, since this is newly re not been registered to anybody or myself, it's gonna ask you to register the device. I'm just gonna call it Fusion 360, number two, and register device. All right, it's gonna say no software version is available at this time. That's okay, we're just gonna click install another version. And you'll have two versions, at least at the time of this video, available to you. One will be the open stock version, which is the top one, and the other will be the Blade Fusion 360 public beta. We do say it's a public, <laughs> a public beta because we've gone through some extensive testing on this, and really I haven't seen any problems with it, but if you do, just make sure, it's more of a warning that you make sure that everything's functioning properly before your initial flight. It also tells you to enable panic bailout feature, uh, install on your radio, that mix is the same mix that is on the manual of your Fusion 360. So if you need help with that, or if you haven't put it in, go ahead and do that. I'll also be telling you how to put that mix into your radio here in a moment. We'll click update. Give it a moment to update the device. So that's all we gotta do with our computer. Let's jump down to our radio and I'll show you exactly what you gotta put in for the mix that we were talking about to enable the panic bailout feature. All right, heli enthusiasts, if you have a DX radio like mine, or really an IX radio, it is as simple as uploading our file that we have on the Spectrum website or horizonhobby.com for the Fusion 360. But if you decided to do it yourself through, via the manual and you didn't do the mix, I'll just go ahead and show you which mix you wanna put in. Go down to mixing. And it will be this mix, the gear to gyro mix at the bottom here. So the mix that you're gonna wanna have is the gear to gyro on the I button mix here that I have highlighted on my screen. And per the manual, it has you do a rate on the, so the left rate as a positive 125, the offset is negative 100, and put the switch on the I button. So when I press the I button, as you can see there, it will move to the I position. Simple as that, that's all you have to do to enable panic. So now that we have our mix set up on our radio for panic, let's go ahead and plug in the battery. But always remember to uh, take off the blade holder from your heli before plugging in and initializing the servos because the blade holder, obviously, is holding the blades and it could cause your servos to bind up. So it's always important to take care of your servos on startup by removing the blade holder. I'll go ahead and do that. And like I said, I have my uh, motor wires unplugged just in case I decide to try to spool it up on accident. It won't hurt me. Plug in our battery. Oh, and then make sure those aren't hitting each other either. And let's test it out. So when we hit the panic button, watch for the swash plate to move. We'll go ahead and stretch our blades out. There you go. So we are in panic when we're holding the button down. When you're in panic, you have very little negative pitch. So if you look at my throttle stick, as I go down, I have very little negative pitch. That's so you don't hit panic and slam it into the ground on accident. You know, we're always kind of fiddling with the sticks. And then when we let go, it'll give us a tiny bit of a delay and center back up. So another thing about panic on this model is you'll have very little deflection on your roll rate and pitch rate to keep you from rolling it over really hard. It's really just so you can write yourself automatically at the touch of a button. Another thing that I will mention is in forward programming on the Fusion 360, there are a few things that you can adjust, such as attitude trim, which means you can adjust when you're holding panic, how level the model is, and you can calibrate the sensor. When you calibrate the sensor, it's always a good idea to get some sort of bubble level or some way to know that the sensor is level. So the sensor is in the flight controller right here. You'll wanna put some sort of level on that. So when you hit, when you calibrate, it knows what the attitude should be when you hit the panic button. Let's go ahead and look at that real quick. All right, we're connected. And remember, you won't get forward programming unless everything's bound up. So you gotta make sure your helicopter's po powered on and bound and we'll go down to the forward programming menu. Another thing I'll mention is to make sure that your radio is updated to 2.05 at the least before you'll see forward programming. You'll get the best forward programming experience if you're all the way up to date. 
So make sure you update your radio, friends. Go to forward programming. It'll tell us that our throttle's high. Put it down. And here's our forward programming menu. Pretty simple. We can do a lot of different adjustments, such as the agility. You can adjust the um, proportional, integral, and derivative. All this PID tuning stuff on your radio from here. Another really cool function of forward programming and the 6250HX. You can adjust tail rotor gain and things like that. But we're also concerned with safe. So the only thing you're gonna get in the safe menu is attitude trim. And that is the attitude at to what happens when you go into panic mode. So if, let's say, when you go into panic mode and it's drifting, it's like rolled to the right a little bit, you can adjust the attitude trim here. Really, if you're having problems with it wanting to kind of roll over on you, I would go and go ahead and do a calibrate. So to do a calibrate, we're gonna go down to the system setup and hit the calibrate sensor here. If you feel like when you're holding the panic button, if it's not quite writing itself within four degrees of level, that's essentially our room of error, then go to the calibrate sensor and calibrate your sensor on your flight controller. So when you hit begin, the light will go red and then it'll start blinking that kind of green color. It'll blink quickly, it'll stop, and then go back to blue. That's how you know it's completed. If you start getting like a red light, that means that it's not level. So you wanna make sure that you have a bubble level, like I was saying, to make sure it's level. We'll hit complete on the radio. Once you're done with forward programming, just hit back and back, and you're back to the main screen. Now you're ready to fly. And that's how you get a bailout feature on your brand new, awesome Fusion 360 helicopter from Blade. This is Tom Cogswell from Horizon Hobby and Blade signing off. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments below on this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any other more pressing questions, go ahead and drop us a line at our Blade RC or Horizon Hobby Facebook pages, and we'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks again for watching. Happy flying.